the mark, Jai Wardner, with a lovely shot through the covers. It's a good shot, great shot. You don't mind as a bowler. You want the batsman coming at it. It's always you feel you've got a chance. There's a little bit of swing movement. Batsman's only just got at the crease. A little bit of a gift from Monty Panasar. I tried, it seemed, to fire it through a little bit more quickly. Succeeded only in dragging it down short and slightly wide. Apart from the odd ball that we have seen keep a little bit low, this pitch has been playing well. Of course, there are no rough patches outside the off stump of the right hander, so Mahela Jayawadina had absolutely nothing to worry about. That's a typical shot from uh, Jar Wardner. Lots of wrist, lots of timing. And a wee problem on the boundary's edge. But to see enthusiasm from everyone, not just the cricketers. Well, well. It's Monty who's got to give chase now. But uh, Kevin Peterson coming round from deep square leg is the man to pick the ball up. It's a good piece of work, actually. Good throw in. Well, it's Monty's turn again. Productive over for the Sri Lankans. Nine runs from it, 153 for two. Beautiful shot on the up, back foot. Might run away, Collingwood's quick and the ball's quick down there. It does well. Excellent fielding hey. from Collingwood. Good cricket all round. First of all, they'll try and set him up with the short ball. And Gaudin has played that pretty well. There are two men out. So he just rolled his wrists and got it away fine for four. There's nothing wrong with this bowling. That's fine. Joe was going to take it on. I don't mind that. But he's played that, as you say, pretty well. He's kept it down. Got on top of it. Played that well. Played that very well. It's a good shot, gets on top of it. But he gets on top of that, doesn't it? It's never in the air. It's well played. There's a man out there. Should he not get it right? Collingwood can't stop that one. It's away for four. Well, it's a floated delivery. It's less than 80 miles an hour. This delivery is just floated out there. It's a big half volley at less than 80 miles an hour. Fifty for Jawadina, fifty in the first innings, fifty in the second. A class act playing on a ground he likes to bat on. Well, the average is forty-seven throughout his Test match career, so he's a quality player. He's been around for quite some time. Mahela Jawadina. This is going to be four runs. It's gone way, way high over the slips. Rattling into the fence uh, down in front of the pavilion there. It's always a temptation, but especially if the ball starts to get onto the boundary so often like this, I'm sure the new ball will be taken very, very soon. He's not too happy. That's down as well. Nothing is going England's way this morning, and suddenly the smiles turn to scowls. Strauss is the culprit this time. There we go. All the way that will go. No one's going to catch that down the slope. Oh, wouldn't it? It's a uh, milestone for him with that shot. A thousand runs against England. The first Sri Lankan player to ever achieve that. All that. Aim it through there. You're letting him look at it when you're looking for a specifically for an outside edge. A 
It's nicely played. That's going to go all the way to the boundary. Very strong in that area. Now then, what have you got, England? You need a bit more inspiration. You need to find these outside edges. You need to take the catches. Fintoff goes through square leg for four. Sri Lanka trail by 102. No wickets this morning. Over the top of slips. That's another boundary. Not quite here he intended. But it's four runs nonetheless. Hit away. Over the slips. It's not a bad shot, actually. Considering the width given. Got it through again. Can he get there? He's quick, but not quick enough, Collingwood. Wide again, too wide. Square the wicket. To third man. the man the building end of a very good over from Hoggard Sri Lanka 308 for 5 yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that was mighty close but from the uh, nervous tension of a possible run out it goes to celebration for Mahela Jarwardner now there is a man who is pleased with what he's done, leading his team from the front. He goes on past his 100 now, up to 103, and it's a standing ovation from the balcony where his colleagues are, are gathered and from this entire crowd here at Lords. They've been very, very impressed by the way this little man has kept himself going throughout this innings, the way he's shown his entire team what can be done here at Lords against England when things look to be going all against you. 103 not out now. Right through the gap. Beautifully placed. No need to run for that. That's gone all the way. I think Hoggard went wide on the crease again. This time it was spotted. It's a little too full. And that's a beautiful shot. Jai Wardner at his best. That's close. I think that hit something on the way through. He hasn't given it. Not too sure Mahela Jawadina is happy with that decision, but has been given. It was the breakthrough they needed, England. Gets big from not nowhere. Uh, looks like that might be unlucky. Jawadina. The finger goes up. I'm not convinced that uh, John Warden would love that. But his long vigil comes to an end. He has played magnificently. He's gone for 119. It's 371.